Hi everybody, this is Joanna from Universal Love Light, Ascension and Wisdom Teachings, um, Heavenly Radiance Shamanic Tarot, and Joanna's Breakthrough Series. Today we wanted to do a breakthrough session, and we're so happy um, to connect with you all this evening. Thank you so much for tuning in. There's some commotion going on here um, at the house, so please um, try not to get distracted um, with all the noise. Um, I'm going to be on a new journey, a new life journey, a new chapter, um, and I've chosen to um, to move into a new um, a new exploration, a new adventure. Absolutely surrendering all that I am to the divine for what's next for me. Um, I've been doing um, um, following my passions for so many years now, and um, I'm truly um, passionate. In this next phase to step into my fifth dimensional co-creation so i've set it forward to the universe and everything is falling in alignment as opposed to um yeah, this the old structures and the paradigms that i've been living from and stepping into something new so i'm really excited so i have less than a week here um, at this beautiful um sanctuary um that that um that i've been at for the last couple of years but now i'm going into something totally new unknown have no plans i have no backup plan and i'm trusting the universe to um, bring to me the highest um, vibrational soul tribe um, the highest vibrational soul offerings for me to um, co-create with and i'm really excited so um, stay posted um, for those of you that are not aware we do have a universal love light facebook page where I do usually daily postings based on you know where I'm at because I do also global sacred travel when I am traveling, um, doing activations on the land and I usually post those pictures as well as personal posts and inspirational posts. So check out our Universal Love Light, um, Joanna. I think is my name is at the end of the beginning of that. But if you just look up Joanna Universal Love Light, you'll find our Facebook page. And there's always posts as well as our videos, as well as the videos that Mario Gattaladino posts. So if you go to his channel and sign up for him as well, you'll always get, I think I do one a week um, on his channel. And then I save them under the Universal Love Light um, YouTube channel. So um, I'm not sure how regular between the next couple of weeks to the next month will be until I get set up in a new resonance, where that, wherever that will be. Um, I'm totally trusting the divine and um, trying to amalgamate old and new world into something new. And following my passions as being as a, a, a beautiful light worker and healer upon the planet and leader and teacher upon the planet. So we'll see where the source divine breath takes me. Very connected with source divine. Um, very connected with what's next on my journey. And um, it will be a new beginning to step out into something new. And I'm really excited about that. And they've been preparing me since the day I was born. <laughs> I absolutely feel as if this has been a ride of preparation <laughs> since my since my incarnation here. Today we wanted to talk about um, wanted to take it a little bit richer and deeper. So it's going to be kind of an, um, an amalgamation. This session, this um, offering for us today, will be an amalgamation of Joanna's um, early morning ascension chat because it's a little bit more intimate, um, and it's going to be a breakthrough series. So it's going to be an amalgamation of both of those. Uh, because I wanted to um, come forward, I, I wrote some notes this morning about the, the very, um, our topic and our title today will be the sacred vessel and how to work within the sacred vessel. And, and we talked about it last night in our offering about really tuning in how you feel um, as you're moving about transitions. Well, all of our entire globe is through a transition right now because we're facing these, you know, quasi new, you know, September school year. What is that going to look like? How is it going to look like? Um, you know, some schools, you know, they're um, doing online learning until February potentialities and optional things like that. And we're sending out the highest vibrations for those that are affected by the global experience and sicknesses and doing our prayers and our meditations for the entire healing of our planet. But they're allowing us to see the transitions that we're all looking at creating anew and how these transitions really come forward with us for what are my new values? What is it that I want to create? Who am I as this vessel of source? And how am I directing my energy now? And it's going to be really important that global collective through where we're at universally omnipresent, uh, micro macro, and reorganizing 
clearing the clutter, if you will, at a global collective frequency of um, our collective belief patterns. And that's why we see what we see unfolding in our collective as the light is continuing to um, transmute everything within our collective. All that is no longer serving will come up to be rewritten and re reworked and rebuilt anew from a higher integrous experience of vibrational integrity and, and vibrational passion to serve the greater good. Um, and so there will be light infused in every potentiality of our socioeconomic systems. And so, um, but what does that mean about how we move about our life? And it really begins, like we said last night, within us, how we affect um, the vibration of our all is the light and the vibration that we carry at our core. Working within that and doing um, those daily self-care experiences really allow you to step into those leveling up experiences so that you walk within this vessel of who you are within great light and capacity to co-create the reality you really want to see. <clears throat> and what's been kind of, you know, a, a big challenge, and we all know this because we're all going through it, are those really um, important transitional experience, you know, whether it's at the collective level or whether you're going through the dark night of the soul. And um, we like to reword things because sometimes they hold us in patterns of beliefs that are truly not the... Um, can truly limit the flow of the source energy so the shadow or the inner child all of those words kind of limit us to the potentiality of what's really going on and you're taking that ownership and standing in the presence of who you are and knowing thyself you know after you've done your daily morning clearing you've done your dream journaling you're then doing your reflection on your dream journaling doing your reflection on your morning clearing the things that are coming up the things you're turning into the things you noticed from the day before and how you'd like to now knowing thyself co-create your day and really creating that morning ritual for yourself so that it's a sacred experience. That sacred experience intention allows you to create that sacred experience within who you are moving about all that is, is a sacred experience. The sacredness of who you are and your intention of who you are, that pure, loving, beautiful, co-creative experience of who you are as a spirited being having a human experience, knowing that you are all things, you have the universe within the center of every molecule holds the universe. And it's kind of mind-boggling to think of that, but it, it's actual, it's actual um, validation of the universe within the micro-macro. We have access to all things that we so desire, if we so choose. But we've walked around within this vessel of who we are with so many layers and veils of illusion, of you know, outdated beliefs and outdated perspectives about who we really are, what we exist within and what exists within us. And so understanding that the sacred vessel, all that we are, all that we exist within and what exists within us, is this encompass and harmonization and embodiment of who we are as spirit. We are spirit having a human experience. We are all things, all aspects of creatorhood, of our divine, passionate, co-creative potentiality, having a human experience. We are all things. We are all. We are one within the all. And so how can we allow ourselves in each day to really break through the, the membrane, if you will, of density because each and every one of us is breaking through our own unique membrane based on, again, the Akash, the lineage, what you've come to work with in your soul's blueprint, but actually calling in within yourself to say, okay, soul, okay, divine, I'm going to surrender myself to you fully. And I want to create a new blueprint for myself. We do this in our higher consciousness states and as the soul, our soul and our higher self and all of our soul's teams, everybody we're working with. And we're threading through at certain times of our, our um, earthly experience you know, who we are and what we're working with. And if we're conscious, and we're creating those intentions and we're living in our highest excitement, we're following our joy, we're living from the centered heart space, we're flowing with the source creator and all will come to you. But if we're still understanding that everything that we're moving into is new, we're having to co-create these imaginings that are beyond what we've ever experienced before. And why we, and we're so impassioned um, to come forward and present these for you every day because I'm already clearing. It's all new. And we're creating things that have never been. And it won't be as it was in, in our old world reality, if you will. So the most divine and experiential, um, you know, pure refinement in alignment with our true source self, our whole Christic energy, the metatronic frequencies that we are as a multidimensional ember of creation, the embodiment, is sacredness. And what does that vibration feel like? So we're, we're musing and pondering with you over the next little while and your following day, whenever you listen to this, is just soften into your consciousness, call all of your light, 
all of your consciousness and all that you are as a divine sacred being and call all that you are all light power and consciousness into your divine sacred heart opening up your pillar of light calling all the light and all the codes to bathe and cleanse every physical mental emotional etheric field bathe you with the frequencies of the golden light the holy christ the golden white light bathing and cleansing bathing and cleansing and just soften and feel into what does holy and what does sacred mean to me what does it feel like and start, start just softening and just, just, um, just allow that presence. I want to experience sacred today. I want to experience my vessel as sacred. I surrender my vessel to the divine to show me how may I explore, express, and experience myself as sacred in my physical vessel. And depending on how deep and rich you want to go, allow yourself each day, take one day to experience the physical aspects of your reality is sacred and just soften within it and take time throughout your day to muse about what does sacredness mean for my physical experience the tangible physical experience of me means sacred my hands are so sacred they allow me to do great things i can cook beautiful meals for my children i can send them white light and send them love that i pray and i love them and i'm, I'm honoring them and i'm honoring gaia my physical body allows me to smell the beautiful smells that gaia offers that's very sacred I can hear the sacredness of all things moving around, the construction, <laughs> you know, creating a beautiful new roof, whatever it might be. That's sacred. Your vessel is sacred. And the next day, you do emotion, and then the, phys the uh, mental, and then the etheric. And take that time to feel into, feel into the physicality and the sacredness and the grace and the lusciousness and the vibrancy and the vivaciousness of being sacred what it feels like for you and tune in tune into that physical experience of sacredness because you can feel it and that physical experience of sacredness will take you into the mental emotionally etheric experiences as well as you're pressing out into this experience and sacredness is done with that softening and all of your consciousness just sits here in your center and it's not a mental activity You'll feel that sacredness and it will bring you to tears because you're, you're calling all of your commandment, your loving commandment. And we say this outside of the text that it's been written in dogma. The loving commandment of your mastery, your leadership over all that you are as a holy, sacred, spirited being having a human experience. And we've expressed our understanding and offering. Of course, it's different for each person, but the vibrational offering of what holy means. And we offer the vibrational um, experiences of who we are as Christic beings taking it outside of what it's always been written and known as, because those are the highest vibrational experiences that we can experience as a multidimensional omnipresence, having a human experience. The metatronic light that we carry, the expansive, infinite, and eternal experience that we have as loving, joyful beings of source. That's the highest Christic metatronic experience we all have to potentiate and expand every aspect of our multidimensional micro-macro experience. As we do, we align with all other aspects of us on all realms, all dimensions, all timelines in that highest potentiation that we know of because those are the only words that we have at this time and it will change. <laughs> um, and so just soften within that experience. And what we want to offer from here on out is um, so, so that, and, and hopefully you've, you've gone back and um, reviewed a few of our videos because the vibrations are very similar and they're threaded vibrational stories. And you'll feel something different every time you listen to our videos, just know that. Because there's codes and there's energies going in as well as your teams, the archangels and the Christic vibrations. We always call in the sacred councils of light, the Holy Spirit, um, all that is in light programs for the benevolent frequencies of the Christ Collective, for light programs across the omnipresent, are with us in these co-creations. They're sacred communions and co-creations. And there's codes and there's energies and the highest benevolence for the highest potentiation that we offer through our intention as we sit and as we commune in this sacred gathering. And so intend that for yourself because as soon as I sit down, my body starts clearing. It's my intention to sit sacredly with spirit. It's my intention to commune sacredly with, with the collective, to with Gaia, with all that is, is that the councils of light, the star councils, collective federation, Elohim, the Christ Collective, the Ascended Masters, the Archangels, the Holy Mother Father, and the beautiful inner and outer shamans. I mean, it goes on and on and on. And beings of consciousness that I don't have names for, that are all on behalf of the light programs. And so as I step out and up into my new frequencies of offering, 
so too will the collective and the councils that are all working with us so that everyone will be offered the codes and the energies that they need when they need it and how they need it. So just know that from here on out, that's what's going to be the, you know, the sacred temple that we all exist within vibrationally. And because it's all etheric. Um, and that's our tension. That's my intention. I, when I sit, I commune in a sacred manner that I bring the highest of who I am and I offer it through the loving grace of who I am as connection with the loving heart of me to the loving heart of you. It's a sacred connection and it's very sacred. I honor you and I empower you and I inspire and encourage you to be your best because knowing that and feeling it and being sacred within it will alter your life your legacy within yourself. You're creating your legacy right now. Right now you create who you are and who you're gonna be in the next moment, the next moment. And that when you're in those private moments with you, whether it be your morning reflection or your meditations or your quiet time, um, getting ready in the morning, showers, baths, whatever it may be that you have that intimate quiet time where it's just you and source. Then you feel into that sacredness and that importance of who you are, that valuedness of, of who you are. And know that it's very sacred. And we say sacred in the way that out of what is, is known from our texts, the sacred is unique and individual to each person because it's a vibrational feeling and it cannot be expressed, just like source creator cannot be expressed in any one statement. <laughs> it's a vibration that means something different to each and every person and, it, and it's ever growing and widening. It's undescribable and indefinable. It, it just is. So too is sacredness because that is the essence of our experience with source. It's sacred. It's deep, it's rich, it's luscious, it's beautiful, it's joyful, it's soft, it's tender, it's unconditional, it's, jo it's everything that we cannot put our, our words into and it cannot be put words into the definitions of what anything might even be. <laughs> it's just, and to have, that's the majesty and the magic that is source. And it's sacred. And have it be okay and just to never ever be able to put your finger on it because that allows you that expansive growth that you've, growth that you've always meant to experience yourself as the soul desires evolution as source, as love, as joy. But that sacred vessel that if we're walking within those energies of old belief patterns, limitations, and lack of self-worthiness, um, and we talk about the sacred vessel in ways that the physical, mental, emotional, etheric energies that we're doing our daily clearing and we're allowing ourselves to bring self-importance back self-love, self-honor, self-joy, all of those experiences of the self, sacred self, will, will allow us to see where we've held abuses within our own experience of self. Because those abuses, uh, we say abuse, and sometimes people get triggered by those words, but it means that we are not recognizing ourselves as sacred in any way, whether it's the negative self-talk, whether it's how we treat ourselves, the way we um, feed our bodies, so that's what we mean by that. Because when we know and honor ourselves as sacred, um, and that's why I wrote our book number two, because I had so many experiences and so many synchronicities of the sacredness of source. And when you're in that vibration and you awaken and your heart opens and you feel the loving, um, the divine loving communion with source creator, it's very sacred and your life is forever changed. And I wrote book number two so, so that I could share the intimacy and the beauty and the elegance and the grace that is that micro macro flow of all of creation, all evolution. And it requires that we just be still and we stop. Call all of our power, the highest power of all that we are, even in that moment, if you might not feel it, but when you stop and you breathe, time stops, I'm stopping time. All in creation, in my mental body, physically, emotionally, etheric, everything is stopped. I'm expanding time. From the center of my being, I call forward my sacredness. I call forward the energies of the heavens to live through me, my soul and my higher self and my, all that I am is an essence. And I'm expanding time being present in this moment. It's so full. And I'm sitting within the elegance and the beauty, all that I am as source in this loving moment. And I'm commanding lovingly to open into the sacredness and into that, that vessel of void. Because you are infinite in this void. Like the center of the molecule that holds all of universal wisdom, our universe. Um, 
and though some of us will also carry the omnipresence, all it is, we have the universal wisdoms within every molecule. And we can tap into it and call from it and expand within the void within it as we are the center of our grander self. It's like we are the center. We are, the, we are that center of the molecule, micro, macro. And it's sacred. There is everything within me, the activation of my health, the activation of all that I am is beauty. And what does that experience and radiance of beauty mean? Beauty is very sacred. It is the experience of your, your self-value as being the sacred child that you are, that beautiful child of source creator. Regardless of what your earthly family has brought you into any understanding, you can now choose to rewrite and create a new blueprint with source creator, your soul and your teams to reunify and level up your blueprint for this new chapter. What does your new chapter desire to have as the experience, that essence experience, the essence of source living in all things? How can you experience yourself within that beautiful sacred flow, this source, so that you're transforming in all moments? It's an, it's an eternal transformation. You're never the same moment for moment, never. It's like you're always eclipsing yourself from the old self to the new self. When you're in that mastery, you can choose to just float in this essence of neutrality. And you're constantly seeing the eclipse of what you used to be and you're opening into this new, the cycles of the moon, if you will. And they can be any cycle that you want. It's not having to wait for the moon cycles, although it's a, in our illusory reality, it's a part of our physical experience that we're remembering, relearning and feeding back into the collective so that we can reunite with our allness and how connected we are with the earth. But illusory, you can create those new cycles of rewriting and bringing forward anew your soul's blueprint. I want to rewrite my soul's blueprint with you, Source, and I want it to include. It's your experience with Source. So what is your desire of sacredness, your vessel desiring you to add in, to harmonize into this new experience, this new chapter? Because September is really when most families around the world create that, that new timeline, if you will, because the children are going back to school and we set new goals and all of those types of things. But we're doing it in a higher vibrational experience, the leveling up, if you will. And we can choose, you know, especially with what I've been going through, you know, personally, I want um, what my soul is aching for is those deep, rich um, experiences with soul tribe, with, soul, with the soulmate, with, with a beautiful soulmate that my soul my higher self, my teams have been co-creating in the ethers and in um, my soulmate and my higher self and their souls have been crisscrossing and connecting in dream time and higher consciousness states to thread together the magical weaving for those connections to really thread together that sacred experience, you know, as two souls coming together and weaving those vibrations into something new. And it's sacred, you know, it's a sacred experience. Your, your experience with you and your higher self is very sacred. And how can you move and soften within the honoring? And so when you're doing your morning clearing, and I'm getting, already getting a heart activation, when you're doing your morning clearing, your dream journaling and stuff, allow yourself to every day set that time where as that master and as that loving commander of your experience, my soul will live through me today and it will be open, it will be unconditional. I will master my boundaries. I will master my desire to express and explore and create anew. I will speak my truth. Because that sacred vessel holds these sacred vortices that are constantly being upgraded as you're working with your clearing and clearing out and all of reserves, choosing different things to eat and drink and, and call in for information, wisdom and reading and studying and all those things that we do to expand and know thyself in new ways. So too are those chakras and those vortices that hold wisdom and information that get activated when you're in your next phase of leveling up, activating the DNA, um, activating codes within your field, calling in those codes and those special celestial alignments. They're all a harmonization and a sacred elegance and, a, and an orchestration, as we've always said, as we've always offered. But now you're being a loving commander because you're conscious of it. And anyone that so chooses can be at any point in, in any depth and any richness of way can be that sacred commander and be 
be in there, hands on, in their own experience with source. And so how does that sacred experience feel like at the physical level, the mental, the emotional, etheric? And how can that new sacredness um, ex, um, vibration, that resonance, how can you create that in a new blueprint? If you so desire, it's always free will. But we can take this opportunity. And what's really exciting is we can take this opportunity as I've you know, I've had to work through my fear because being um, a very fixed sign, very ethereal, you know, I've always been, had my higher chakras very active and it takes a lot for me to ground. Um, being a Taurus, I'm always very grounded, but um, um, especially with what the planet has gone through, it's been very challenging grounding because as an empath, I can feel everything. So, but grounding even helps with that. But the physical body and the ego um, needs to be trained into that. And it needs to be soothed and trained into that. But these new experiences and what I've been going through is having to work through the fears of not knowing, having to work through the fears and the releases of, okay, well, what next? I'm usually very prepared and very organized. And, but what we learn at this mastery level, especially when we're pressing out, especially now that we're pressing out into the 5D that we've never created or known before, all of our socioeconomic systems need us, need the light to be infiltrated into new ways, loving ways and threaded in new ways and open in potentiality so it's serving the greater good, using our highest Christic creativity and connecting with that divine mind from the highest frequencies of the light program so that we're not recreating old human ego energies and just different programs. It's going to be created within light. And that's a heart-mind harmonization. But what, that, what that's been teaching me is that complete surrender takes practice. Surrendering into the sacredness of you and knowing that your sacredness is enough that you will call in what you need for that sacredness. And our work is just to continue with that self-love, that self-prayer, that self-communion with the source, knowing thyself as love, as source as I am. Just that re reaffirmation, that reconnection with the center, reconnection with your grounding, reconnection with who you are as love, pure love. And all will be provided, all will be sorted, all will be honored, all will be brought to you living in that essence of sacredness and it will come to you in the most sacred of ways that will come to you in the most sacred vibration because you're preparing it from that resonance of sacredness and what does that chapter look like for you and how can you rewrite your blueprint so that it's really exciting for you and it's a new adventure and it can be filled with whatever it is you want so we're inspiring this as this breakthrough series for you to come through in a really intimate and sacred way with what does my new blueprint look like you know for september and on, however on that might be, and try to limit the boxes that you put it in. Release the, um, release the ideals of having to have anything work out by a certain date, and just put the intentional vibration into those experiences. I'm gonna explore myself and my sensuality and my body and my physicality in new ways, and it's gonna be sacred. I'm gonna feel that alignment with the earth. I'm gonna feel within my toes and my body and my fields that there's brand new vibrations that are wanting to reach out with me. And I can feel the richness of all that I am co-creating with source. I'm gonna move my body in new ways that's right for me. I'm gonna honor my sacredness in the way that I speak to myself. And when I'm in those private intimate moments, I'm gonna hold myself dear and hold myself high. And I'm gonna practice creating sacredness with those around me. Even those that have had challenging relationships because that will serve me. It will allow me to feel that deepest unconditional love and forgiveness and compassion. And I'm going to thread my sacredness into the grids. I'm going to thread my sacredness into all that I'm creating. And I'm going to, I'm going to pave my path with golden sparkles of sacredness. Because I'm sacred. I deserve that. And I get to stand proud and say, you know what? I've paved this. I have paved this path before me. I have worked so hard to get to this point of self-love and self-honor. And now I'm going to allow myself to appreciate it. I get to appreciate who I am at this level of, of sacredness. And I'm going to soak for five minutes, a few times a day, and just feel myself as sacred. And how does it feel? How do I feel in every aspect of my multidimensionality as sacred? What does that resonance feel like? It's like an infinite moment of preciousness that just keeps expanding preciousness of you as source it's just like that breathing with the heavens and it's like that infinite void and you just want to stay there forever 
because source will let you know in every way, the Holy Mother and the Holy Father, that Vesica Pisces within you, that we're all, we're all harmonizing to center within. That's what we're practicing as masters, centering within the Vesica Pisces, the Divine Mother, the Divine Father, and here we are right in the middle, at our heart center, to flow unconditional love and our intentions of love and bringing great love to the planet and bringing our essence of creativity as the beautiful sacredness of all that we are to live through us in beautiful divine flow. There's no resistance anymore. What have we got to hide? Let it go. I get to state my boundaries. I get to state what I'm excited to co-create. And I allow all others their path. Releasing the control. Releasing having things to work out in a certain way. And I'm reviewing my beliefs as they come up. And I'm releasing what no longer serves. And I'm acknowledging, accepting, and allowing myself within it all. Not judging it either way. And I'm staying within this masterful neutrality where I can choose to change my beliefs and expand upon them because I'm an infinite being. I'm sacred. I'll be guided from this sacred space. I'm not going to fall into fear or doubt and lack of because I walk with source in all moments. I'm sacred. The center of me of who I am right now is sacred. And within a breath, I can feel myself anew and I can feel myself sacred because there will be moments where there will be that wavering. That's the, that's the navigation through density. That's what I'm mastering. I can do this. I've got this. There's nothing that I can't do. Source is with me. Thought, word, and deed. Source is with me. My heart is open. There's nothing for me to fear. I'm standing very powerful in my sacredness. Sacredness is my goddess and my god power. It's my sovereignty to pull all of my information and my wisdoms and all that I am is sacred forward so that I may live as a sacred being. So that all this earth knows my steps and my footprints as sacredness. My words are sacred. My words are a part of the vortices within me that allow me to express who I am in the most sacred way. So that even those intimate moments with others are very sacred because I'm choosing and I'm, I'm intending this open, intimate flow of sacredness. And it changes all things before me. When you accept and you acknowledge yourself within the vibration of sacredness and you're saying, today I will be sacred. My words will have greater vibration of sacredness. And I'm calling source forward to live through me. I'm calling my soul and my higher self to live through me in this way. Show me the essence and the vibration of sacredness as in a harmony, as this embodiment of who I flow as. How may I be this vibration of sacredness? How many open and deeper connection of all, the, all things that are sacred? My heart just wants to open. My heart is the butterfly that's just opening in sacredness and communion and rich connection. There's nothing to hide when you're in that vibration. There's nothing to be fearful of. It's a vibration of sacredness. Your cells want to hear you. Love all that you are as sacred. Honoring yourself in every way as sacred. I'm so sacred. I've brought myself so far. And my pure will, that purity of the will within my heart, pure mind, pure spirit, pure body, spirit, and soul, all that I am, all that I am in every changing moment. I drop to my heart and I am sacred. I am sacred and the earth is forever changed. And I will complete the circuit of the heavenly flow from the heavens through my center heart to the center of Gaia. I am sacred. I am a goddess for many lifetimes. I am a shaman. I come with great gifts and with great energy and with great skills to be fully me. Just soft and elegant and flowing. And that's a luxury for, for me to be me. And any time a doubt comes up or, or a worry or a conversation of, of challenge with others because they're not used to these new sacred vibrations that I'm emanating, I will soften in patience and calm and I will create a beautiful reflection of unconditional love and acceptance standing in my strength because that's the navigation. It's the navigation. I'm ever pressing out in new ways of feeling and navigating a sacred mastery. So I'm going to want all those soulful experiences to assist me in pressing out. In every moment, I can remain centered. I can remain grounded. And I can remain sacred, no matter what's going on in the peripheral or in front of me that I've brought forward through previous moments of fear and lack or self-doubt. I understand. I get it. And I have the skills and the wisdom. I have the sacredness. And I have source walking with me. And I will be supported because those are the intentions I set. I set the intentions of sacred communion in all moments. And why? 
the conversations will be different. I'm communing with the God in you. The God in you knows the God in me, and I love you unconditionally. We're communing in a very sacred way. We're creating great sacred communion here. And what words and what, what, ex, what excitements, what, what beautiful new blueprint you know, can you come up with as a beautiful excitement that I'm so proud to be me. I'm so proud to feel myself as sacred. I've never experienced it before, but here we go. For a day, I'm going to try it. And allow. Release the expectation. Release what you think might come forward and might unfold and re release it. Soak within gratitude and appreciation every moment that you can, that you can remember, because we're not used to doing that. Gratitude and appreciation is the sacred language of the angels, and it allows us to open our heart, even when it feels closed and shut down because of everything that we've gone through in all of our experiences moving through navigation, a very dense experience. It's okay. Just talk yourself back into that vibration of now. Feel the vibration first. Though the vibration of what it is you want to feel will create new thought forms and create that new spiral of new beginning and new co-creation. So feel the vibration of sacredness. I'm going to feel joyful today, a sacred joy. Yeah, I get to play with everything because I know that everything is sacred. I'm creating that excitement with Gaia. I'm creating that excitement with the stars and with the light ships, with Mother, Father, Source and all things. I get to play this way. I'm going to talk to my kids in a playful, joyful, sacred way because they're sacred. They're masters. They've taught me so much. And you can just live in this vibrancy of being sacred. And everybody around you is touched. The earth is touched. It's so beautiful. And when we're working with um, the vessel, <clears throat> that I am sanctuary, that I am sanctuary is your sacred sanctuary of who you are. And your I am space. I have an eight-foot sanctuary that I'm responsible for. So that core vibration affects the field that I walk within. So that core vibration is so important because it can clear and cleanse your eight-foot auric frequencies and your fields so feel into the sacredness my fields are being cleared by the sacred vibration of the holy christ that i am the highest vibration of an energy physical being that i am and it's being cleared by the highest light and i can see it and i can feel it it presses out all density is gone all thought forms gone that do, don't serve gone i release all that no longer serves and i know that they will be released create those knowings i am source as i am i know those are released. They're no longer a part of my ruptor. It is a part of the all will be transmuted into a higher light frequency. But as a part of my experience now, I choose this. I'm directing all of me into joy, into sacred communion, into sacred co-creation. And there's nothing that can't come to me that I can experience and co-create and express. That's sacred knowing. Sacred knowing, how do you feel? A little excited. What does that mean? Sacred knowingness. You'll know. You'll get something. You'll get triggered in one of your bodies. You'll get triggered by a dream. You'll say, wow, I'm sending, that's just so exciting. And I get to send everybody light because wow, I'm, I, I get it. I get it. I can feel it. The thing about awakening and ascension when you're really communing at a multidimensional level, micro macro, is it will be a feeling sensation. You will get secondary the thought or you'll get that activation of a remembrance. It will always be secondary to the feeling. You'll always feel it first, because that's the blessing that we've been gifted. That's the blessing of being source in a physical body. We get to feel it. And that's why our emotional body is so important to our reality and how we co-create it. How do you feel? If there's any fear and worry going on, tune into it and release it right away. As quick as a breath, <sighs> release all fear and worry. It doesn't matter to me anymore, because right now I'm with sources taking up all of me. It feels so good. And just take those moments. Oh, I'm just going to feel into the source. You know, it just feels so good to be in 100% in communion with you. All of me. I pour all of that I am into the sacred communion source. All that I am source. How can we create my new blueprint? I'm, I'm, I'm so excited to be with you. I call forward my soul, my higher self. Let's create a new blueprint for me. These are my excitements. Show me the way. I fully surrender to the divine. Show me the way. Those are the experiences that we talked about in Mastery where we're all releasing attachment. Attachments are those beliefs that we've held about ourselves that hold us into certain paradigms of experience and cycles of experience that are not serving the evolutionary progress of pressing through and breaking new membranes. And so everybody has them, you know, and it, they're very subtle at times. You know, what attachments do we hold to the old cycles and routines and habits, if you will, patterns? They're very dense. <laughs> Just saying those words make me feel different, <laughs> you know, because I'm so into the subtle connections. 
you know, to live freely in liberation, creatively, emotionally, etherically, and to have those that are connected at that same energetic level. I want to express myself freely. I want to allow myself that safety and that loving communion to know that I will be held safely and I will be honored in the sacredness of who I am with soul tribe, with soulful brothers and sisters, and that I will as, as the same do for them. I know myself in that way. <laughs> you know, I offer my sacredness in every way. That's part of the commitment of living sacredly as best we can and we learn and we grow and we press each other through our offering of one another, truthfully, honestly, with great devotion to, with, to exploration of who we are, not to the devotion of a commitment that doesn't um, serve the creative expansiveness of evolution. You know, that's only a perspective of you know, mine because I'm, I'm allowing myself to thread more deeply and richly into a devoted experience of, of liberation. And what does that mean as far as commitment? That commitment is a vibration of exploration to love. You know, that's only my personal experience and everybody will have a different experience of what that means to them because there will be commitments that we thought and we've been believed to be true or what we were taught in any reality, whether it's through familial, dogma, schools, society, doesn't matter, that we're all, we're all putting on the table to sort out because they don't serve anymore. That's the belief systems that our entire collective is going through. Well, what do we have to believe true about our school systems and how can we change it to be more fluid, more expansive and more serving for the greater good? In every socioeconomic way, that's why we're here. That's the light that we have to carry into new experiences of our sacredness, you know, so that we can have realities that are more conducive to our multidimensional experiences where we gather and we commune. And we co-create with our on and off world experiences and families. And we're co-creating with the, with the councils right from the majesties of the heavens. And that we set those solid foundations that are truly formed and balanced all in love. Goodness to all, gracious to all, the gratitude and, and the importance of all life. How do we honor that? How do we commune together in that? How do we live joyfully and sacredly in liberation of each soul's desire to co-create in their own unique way? And to be valued in who they are. And that's that mastery path that we all walk. But we can set a new blueprint. Any moment we can set a new blueprint. Okay, source, here's my blueprint. I want to live this next chapter of my life in the most divine, sacred, exploratory, most, the highest capacity that I can richly experience. It doesn't mean that every moment's going to be a roller coaster. It means that I get to feel my communion in love as much and as often and as deeply and as richly as possible. And I get to express it freely express it and be honored in expressing it because that's the giving and the receiving the equal flow that will always keep one in balance when it's not in balance and there's always more giving and more taking then that's when the imbalances and that's when relationships go through those de-evolved or stagnant energies and people burn out because you can you can only give so much when you're not receiving the heart shuts right down so this is why we brought this forward. How does living sacredly as the sacred vessel of you, how does that feel like? And when you have those moments of those belief systems coming forward, because remember, everything that you're em emanating will come back to you in a, in a physical experience and be reflected to you. So honor that. That's the sacred communion of your reality experience that you're showing. Okay, what is that belief showing me? Anything, anything that comes up will show you. And especially if you have those triggering moments, what is that belief showing you? Because you want to clear that and deal with it right away because that will open up that sacredness. I cleared this belief today. And what I'm seeing from clearing that belief is that I can now choose to create a sacred um, exact opposite. So look for the sacredness and the unconditional love in the exact opposite of whatever it is that you're seeing or you're tuning into. And then realign and own it and claim it. This is my new vibration. Because remember, every time you clear, every time you call something forward and have it released, immediately go back to your heart center and align with unconditional love and the resonance of what you so choose to replace that with. That's how you're continuing this leveling up in an always balanced manner. You're the loving commander of what you want to experience as a vibration next. So you're constantly letting go, constantly setting forward anew creating that blueprint, creating your new sacredness, creating your new vibration. And it's that, that resonance, we're resonant beings. So how can we create 
from this beautiful and sacred and powerful and you know joyful experience that's so exciting we get we have this beautiful experience that we get to co-create with one another it's so exciting you know there's the all is being offered to us and the heavens are here helping us in every way that we can and we're coming together now to say okay let's let's do this we will bring Gaia home and we will be a part of the welcoming party for all of earth to come forward and live richly and uniquely within who we are that's what we've wanted for ourselves for earth we've been with Gaia for so long you know she deserves this where we all just lay our bellies on the earth and say Gaia we're bringing you home we will bring you home and I and I bathe sacredness through all of my vessel to every fiber of soil within this planet you are sacred my intention is to know you as sacred and I will walk as sacred. And those are the commitments that we, we show ourselves, you know, or not. Again, it's always free will. And you each have a frequency of depth and richness and expansiveness and creativity. You each have it all, you know. We're only offering this to you as my specific um, intimate offering to you so that you can feel okay to go rich and deep and wide because if you're here in these vibrations, it's because you require that or you desire it at some level. And that's the awakening of the multidimensional soul because we've lived so disconnected and cut off to the depth of who we are and the sacredness of who we are. And that heart wants it. That heart aches for, aches for it. You know, aches for that communion of depth, that communion of new vibration, that communion of new higher intelligence where we get to co create from the heart. Everyone is served. It's so magical, so beautiful. So know that that I am presence, that I am presence is who you are within your heart center and what are your values? What, are, what is your I am vibration? You know, and you can change it every day from being sacred to being joyful. You know, so change up the vibration so that you get to feel into and tune into the multidimensional experiences that you're co-creating for yourself and that rich 5D experience you're experiencing in return. And allow it to remind yourself about sovereignty because sovereignty is that experience of self-empowerment. You're anchoring self-empowerment with sovereignty. You're allowing yourself to see that you are truly liberated at all moments. All else is an illusion. And it, you will see in that reminder of yourself all the things that you've held in limitation and lack and in restriction. Because that's your intention to live as a sovereign being will show you out all things and it will bring forward all things that are not, that are not sovereign. You know, the things we've held in limitation. And that will always allow you that harmonization of your highest holiness, that experience of who you are at the highest vibration of you being purely in alignment with your sovereignty with source. As often as you can, return, return to center, return to center, return to center, and live from this heart space. The heart will never guide you astray. It will allow you to feel the depth and the richness of who you are that you've been aching for. <laughs> I know I have. Like somebody, wake up, <laughs> you know, play at a deeper level. Goodness gracious, let's do this. Yes, let's do this. You know, and sometimes you just, that's just what the, the, that's just what the creativity wants. It wants that rich and deep creative play. It really wants to come and play. The little kids in the playground, they just want to play. And they're running as fast as they can. They don't even know where they're going. They're just running. <laughs> This is where we're at right now. We're in the playground. So let's do this. Let's get excited about who we are as sacred beings. Let's do this as this breaking through these membranes of old, old energies of, well, if I get too excited, I'm too happy, then those around me are going to feel comfortable with it. Well, they'll get used to it. You know, you can't hide and, and pretend to be someone you're not if that's the experience you're living through. Live fully, don't wait. Live fully, don't wait. Live sacredly, don't wait. Allow yourself that deep and rich experience of who you are because you're worth it. And that next day you're gonna say, wow, that was so good. I just cried at everything. That's being richly involved with all entanglement, that's source. Source is in all things, all moments, all breaths. Source is there with you. Source wants to thread with you that unconditional blissful joy that you are as a sacred child. You're awake to it, you're gonna feel it in all things. You absolutely will. I've seen people cry at the trees when I've had sacred retreats here. That's that communion of depth. You have that depth of that sacredness with that tree and it will make you cry. No doubt about it. That's that source. 
you're awake to it, you're gonna feel it in every way. That's why we're here. And we're here to be that pillar of light, that excitement, that joy, that sacred child that's coming forward to say, yeah, this can be good. Why not? Right? Right? So how do you feel? Do you feel excited? You're ready to, to get on some sacred experience? You deserve it. You deserve to feel sacred. You deserve to be sacred. You deserve to feel your heart as the sacred pulsating mechanism of source creator that's creating a life that you've never seen before. And you can't wait to experience. This is new, dear ones. This is new. You are new. This reality is new. You are new as source. You are new with every breath that comes in your source. Every breath that comes in, you're awakening anew, you're expanding anew, you're connected with the earth, you're connected with the trees, you're connected with the water. The water body in all the oceans is the water body within all your chakras and in your cells. You are connected, you are sacred. You are from the heavens, you are from the stars, you are from all planets, you are from earth. You are a shaman, you are a sacred, sacred, sacred being of light. Every cell, every thought, every word, every deed, you are sacred, you are sacred, you are sacred, I am sacred. I am sacred, I am sacred, I am one with source, I am harmonized, I am that I am. And ground, sacred oneness with Gaia. Something sacred. Got goosebumps everywhere. So thank you, dear lighted ones. Muse and softly ponder about sacredness, the vibration and the resonance of sacredness, your experience, your exploration, and your expression of who you are as sacred. Physically, mentally, emotionally, and etherically, know that you are one with all things and you are a fluid moving vessel of sacredness, divine and holy light. And so it is. Thank you for tuning in, dear sacred communion, brother and sisters, for joining us today in this um, sacred gathering. And no, just call in the angels, anything you need, the heavens are with you have that as you're knowing as i walk the heavens are with me as i walk the heavens speak with me as i play the heavens live through me sacredly and i am the vessel to bring this forward and i will no longer hide and i will no longer be ashamed or in guilt of who i am i am a shining vessel of holy light i am that i am and own your profundity own it claim your joy claim your happiness claim your profundity i am magnificent and I am a tower of light, and I will own this. And I can walk elegantly and softly and gently within this, knowing thy power, knowing thyself. I am all things. I am centered in all. That's my mastery, sacred commandment. My cells are listening. My mind and my body is listening. I am one. The Vesica Pisces, I am that I am. All is holy. So exciting. Woo! We hope you've enjoyed this offering. So thank you, dear lighted ones. Sleep well and play richly and sacredly in this new divine experience of who you are. Create that new blueprint with source and dive into the resonance and the frequencies of sacredness because it's so very rich. So undefinable. Thank you, dear lighted ones. Namaste. Bye.